Now we're going to use the wget command. So you type in sudo wget and then right click and paste your um, buildtools.jar link directly into the box. Hit enter and it'll download the buildtools.jar directly to your server. Now that this is done, if you just hit ls, which is list, it'll show you that buildtools.jar is now available. And we're going to go ahead and unpack it now. To build it, you're going to type in the command java jar build tools dot jar and then we want the revision to be 1.9 so we can play it on the normal minecraft install Okay, now we're completed installing the entire craft bucket and spigot server. So type in ls, and then I'll show you that all that stuff's been put in. And you see you have a craft bucket 1.9 jar and a spigot 1.9 jar. Both of those are Minecraft servers. You can use either one you want. I personally am going to use spigot to create the server that me and my son are going to play on. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and build a startup script that's going to let us just type in one little command and it'll start the server up for us. So we install this program called nano. So right now we want to sudo nano and then we're going to call it minecraft.sh. So first thing is we're going to type in that. So we know that it's a bash script. And then we're going to type screen and then Java minus XMS1024 M. And then we're going to do another one XMX1024 M minus jar. And then just do the spigot one S P I G O T it was uh, 1.9 dot jar what this does is it makes it so we don't have to type all that out every time that we want to try to start the server up so now all we have to do is control X yes we want to save it and then we're gonna save it says file name to write minecraft.sh just hit enter alright so now if you type LS again you have uh, in white there it says minecraft.sh now in order for us to execute that we have to make it to where the computer recognizes it so we're gonna sudo change mod 655 minecraft.sh and so now if we type ls it shows up in green so we can execute that now so all we're gonna do is hit dot slash minecraft.sh that's going to load the libraries and start up the Minecraft server. Okay, so now you see how it says stopping server. It says you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. So just go to type ls again. And if you look down there in, in white, you can see EULA.txt. We're going to open that up. sudo nano EULA.txt. Pop up, it says EULA. I'm just going to go ahead and change that to true. Okay, control X, yes, enter. Now we go ahead and run the Minecraft.sh again, pop up, load the libraries, and now your Minecraft server is going to run. Now your server is completed. You're not going to see anything on the server, you're going to have to connect through your Minecraft client. So let's do that real quick and see if everything worked out. Okay, I have Minecraft 1.9 brought up. I'm going to hit multiplayer, and then we're going to add a server. So we're going to name this our new spigot server. And then the server IP address was 
1.102. Now, just to make sure everybody understands, this is not a server that people are going to be able to connect to from the outside world without a little bit more work. This is something that you're going to only be able to use on your local area network, meaning within the walls of your own uh, internet access. So we're going to hit done. And as you see, new spigot server comes up and we're allowing 20 players to connect to this one. You can join the server. Log in. And now you have your own private server to jump around on and play with. Now, this server is completely moddable. So if you go online, you can search um, spigot or bucket add-ons and uh, pick the ones that are designed for 1.8, 1.9. Since 1.9 just came out, a lot of the mods, um, some of them will still work on 1.9, but it may have broken a few of them. It's pretty new, and I haven't had a chance to test it all out yet. But this will give you the general idea how to set up your own server. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. If it helps you out, just let me know. Um, if you have any issues, just write it down in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you work it out. If you follow through those easy-to-follow directions that are pasted right below here, um, you should have no problem setting up your own Minecraft private server. All right, thanks again.